Let's create a cup with a custom logo. But first, let me tell you why we want to make it. It all started when I was working on my six pack and learning the new chess opening. All of a sudden, I received this comment on my YouTube channel. Hmm, I see. Nordic Wells Lounge struggles with putting a PNG texture on a object. I can help with that. The six pack can wait anyways. Let's put on some normal clothes. Clean up this mess as well. And turn on my beauty. First, I'm gonna make a rough sketch in the best drawing program ever, the MS Paint. And let's open the mighty blender. We're gonna start with creating the cup. Select the cube and press X to delete. Shift A and add a circle. We're gonna zoom in a little bit, tap to the edit mode. Now everything is selected. If it's not, then just press A on your keyboard. Now press E. This got all those vertices extruded, but this time we're gonna press escape. Now the vertices are still there extruded, so we're gonna press S to scale and just drag your mouse inwards like this to create the thick cup. Now we're gonna select everything with A again and we're gonna press E to extrude and let's just drag it up. It doesn't matter how far you will go, this is also fine, you can always modify it later. So at this point I'm going to the modifiers and we're gonna add the bevel that's the first one in here we can add more segments to make those edges more rounded so we're just gonna let's go with let's say four or five now we can tap out to the object mode and let's shade it smooth then we're gonna add a subdivision surface modifier that's gonna make all the edges even more smooth so we can increase the levels here to get it just super smooth don't worry about the bottom of our cup that's easy to fix just unselect everything by clicking elsewhere, then on the cup, shift alt on your keyboard, holding it and just left click on this edge here. This will select the whole loop of the vertices and now we can just press F and suddenly we got that bottom of our cup just filled. Just a small detail that is nice. So our cup is ready. Now let's model the handle. Shift A again and let's A circle. So surprising. Let's go with number one on your keyboard. That's gonna just go to the front view of the viewport here and let's press R for rotation and press 90 on your keyboard. Now still in the object mode, I'm gonna press G and move the circle in here. Now press R for rotation again, this time we're going to look in the Z axis, so let's just press Z on your keyboard and now we can just rotate our circle. I'm going to press 90 on your keyboard again and enter, so this time we just rotated our circle. You can see the handle already, I do. Alright, so let's go to the edit mode and scale it down, this is already nice. Now we're gonna select all those vertices here on the left side. If you are not sure if you select all of them, you can toggle the extra view. Now we can see that we actually selected all of them and let's press X and delete those vertices. Voila, this is already very cool, isn't it? So at this point, we gonna go again with the very same technique as we did before. So let's go to the edit mode, select everything with A. E for extrusion, left click, S, and scale it down like this. Perfect. Now I'm going to show you another trick in Blender of the Solidify. This is a modifier that makes our mesh solid. So you can see that if I add more thickness here, we're just going to get our beautiful handle. Very nice. So. Again, we can add the bevel modifier. So this one will make the edges again very nice. And of course we can add more segments. Right click on that handle and shade it smooth. And if you are satisfied, that's fine. If you are not, we want to make it even more smooth. You can again add the subdivision surface. 
and this is already very very cool isn't it so again number one on the keyboard now press g x and just connect the handle to the cup of yours any edits of the mesh object is recommended to do in the edit mode so just tap in select everything with a and let's just scale it up if you just feel that the handle is a little bit small again the idea of using modifier is that you can always modify and do the edits so if we can add the thickness here if you are not satisfied with the thickness of our handle and i think that this is already quite nice because it's the same thickness as the cup so here you go the handle is ready now let's open photoshop and draw the logo then export it as a png and finally it's time to put the logo on our beautiful cup go to render properties and switch to cycles we just gonna switch the render engine now let's go to the materials and add a new one to the cup of iris let's say a cup material now let's go to the shading and let's focus on this node window here we're gonna put shift a and first we're gonna add a mix so just click on that search right mix in and let's add this mix note again shift a this time we're gonna add a texture and we're gonna search for texture image so that's the one and then we're gonna add another node shift a search for mapping and the last one is going to be the texture coordinate okay so now let's connect them together i always like to lay all of them out and this is exactly the order so the first one we're gonna connect is the uv to the vector then the vector to the vector then in the mix node let's switch to the color the color goes to the b and the alpha will go to the factor all right and the results will go to a base color to change the color of the cup we're just gonna go in here and switch the color so let's go with something like this and now let's add our logo so first we're gonna click on open the logo is added now we need to go to uv editing in here i'd like to switch the shading viewport so let's add on the shading viewport let's go to modifiers and apply both the modifiers so we just switch to the object mode with the tab here in this window and let's apply both modifiers so now the cup is just gonna look like this beautiful isn't it and then in here in the upper window let's switch to the face selection select everything with a right click on it and click on the uv unwrap faces and just click on unwrap auto faces just got unwrapped on the logo texture that we just added before in the shading uh, window here and if i select one of those faces here on the cup you can see that we see also that face here on the texture so, so basically this place on this texture is now also on our cup so the idea here is to select all those faces then in the uv editor here just select all those faces as well we're gonna scale it down g and just move it to a place of the texture where it's transparent right so now everything in here is just being transparent now let's go to number one and we're gonna select the faces where our logo will be so let's select those faces here right click again you can see that they are now here in this upper corner where we move all the faces right click on the faces that we selected uv unwrap faces again and select unwrap this way we unwrap those faces again the other ones are still here in the corner okay so now we need to play with the faces here in the v editor in order to get the logo right displayed on the cup so in here we can play again with those faces usually as in blender so i just pressed r and now i can just easily rotate it so basically we're just gonna go with r 9 0 on your keyboard and now it's rotated again we can press g and move it around so let's say that i like the logo to be exactly here that's perfect 
you can also see that now the logo is actually flipped so let's just right click on those faces here and click on mirror x and voila our logo is on our cup the beauty of the setup that we did if we switch back to the shading is that we can have a logo on a that is transparent and still change the actual color of our cup so this is the reason why we went for this setup so the logo is on our cup now let's finish up our scene adding the backdrop and better lighting so let's change the base color of the cup to let's say this beautiful color we're gonna copy the hex value of it just like this okay let's select the handle click on new the same will be actually visible in here as well and let's change its base color to the hex color that we just copied before enter and now we have the cup and the handler in the same color so i'm gonna go back to the layout where we played and modeled the whole thingy and let's finish up the scene with some background and the lights so i'm gonna go with shift a and add a plane now we can actually easily just do whatever we want it's just a plane so let's go to the edit mode of that plane and scale everything up with s let's say to make it this big or maybe this that's fine but now let's switch to vertex selection holding shift i will select this one this one and this one all those three corner vertices i press e to extrude z and let's just drag it up all right so this way we are getting the background for our cup again we will add another modifier or the first one it is called the bevel now let's select and adjust the amount to around this size and we also will be adding more segments to make it more smooth okay like 25 then we tap out to the object mode and shade it smooth so now it's just perfectly smooth in the back so first of all we will switch to the render viewport so we can see basically exactly how the scene looks like okay and i will move the light to around this uh, position here look at that so beautiful already let's give it a really high power of around 8000 now the light is very strong but the more radius we add the less of the strong it will be and also the shadows will be way softer so this is our beautiful cup with our logo on it the render is finished enjoy our creation and i'll see you in the next one tongue is out